Okay, back to this employment marriage example one more time to look at the conditional mean. So here I've written out all the uh, what we had from the previous two videos on this example. You can go watch those if this does not look familiar. So first we will compute the unconditional mean of y, or the marginal mean of y. So for that, here's the mean of y, and as usual, we take that sum of value times probability. So in this case, y has two possible values. The first value is 0, so have 0 times the probability of 0, meaning not employed, plus 1 times the probability y equals 1. And then we can plug in the marginal probabilities we had from the previous video, 0.3 and 0.7. Uh, here, in the first term, since we have 0, that just zeroes out anyway, and we're just left with 1 times the probability y equals 1, which is 0.7. So that is the unconditional mean of y. Uh, here, because we have this dummy variable or binary variable, uh, that's also just equal to the marginal probability of employment. That's the interpretation for the mean. Now we can do the same thing for the conditional distribution of y, uh, conditional on being married. So previously we had computed some uh, conditional probabilities, and we can plug those into the conditional mean formula. So here the conditional mean of y given x equals 1 is analogous to before, where we have value times probability and sum them together. Just this time the probabilities will be conditional probabilities. Basically, we're just, again, looking at this married subpopulation and then doing everything within that subpopulation. So here, again, same two possible values, 0 and 1. Just that we'll have conditional probabilities. And again, because we have a 0 in the first term, the first term zeroes out, and we're just left with 0 0.75. 0 0.75. So in this case, we can see that if we look at the population as a whole, unconditionally, there's a uh, 0.7 probability of employment, or 70% employment, uh, whereas when we restrict our attention to only married individuals, there's a slightly higher 75% uh, employment uh, probability. Uh, and just as a reminder, this is not saying anything about causality or causal effects. This is just comparing uh, two statistical features.